Hi everyone, Paul Serve here, and in this video, we're going to explore two different categories to make a lot of money in your first spring. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's dive into these strategies. If fishing is our first step into making a lot of money in spring. We're going to need to acquire a fishing rod though because we sadly do not start with one. Lucky for us, we get one for free though on Spring the 3rd from Eleanor and Sunny at the Beach Shack. After you get the fishing rod, I like to go directly south from the Beach Shack next to Theo's boat. And the reason why is because you can catch things like octopus, lobster, and jellyfish. And a few other smaller fish too. But it's a really great place to get money early and also level up your fishing level. I would recommend staying at this location until you can purchase the improved fishing rod for 2,500 gold at the beach shack. As you upgrade your rod, you actually start getting better stats for the cast length, max tension on the line, tension recovery, reeling speed, and tension strength. You will also want to get this fishing level 2 perk that increases the sell price of your fish. After you get the improved fishing rod and the level 2 fishing perk, I like to head on over to the Ocean Forest. That is the forest that's directly west of your farm. You can fish in any parts of these waters, but I prefer fishing on the little bridge leading into the Giant's Village. This is my favorite place to fish because you can catch the sea cucumbers and they sell for a base of 175, not factoring in the fish price perk that goes all the way up to 350 to the highest rarity, although you'll probably only catch up to silver in your first spring. I made 4,400 gold in one day from the spot. Fishing is one of the best, if not the best way to start getting money in this game, but there's even a better way that requires less time and less effort after everything is set up, and that is mining. Similar to fishing, the mining area does not open up until spring 5th, well, Mark will come let you know that it is open, although kind of rudely, but I mean, he's a hot bear, so we forgive him. At the start, you will have access to the Earth Gate, and you will want to upgrade your pickaxe to copper so you can get through this mine a little easier. And after the Earth Mine, you will unlock the Water Mine, and you will find Silver Ore, and as you could probably guess, you want to upgrade your pickaxe to silver so you have an easier time going down it. And then, we reach the wind mine. Each gold ore sells for 100 gold. And if you pick up the mining perk double ore, you're going to be rolling in the money. And trust me, it comes really fast. After the wind mine, we unlock the fire mine. And then we can start finding an ore called osmium. Osmium ore sells for 300 apiece. To put it in perspective, I made 32,000 gold in one day and this is the, our first spring in, a, in this file it didn't take me the whole day to do this either because i would just farm for 1 5 15 25 and 30 although there were some days i would be more invested into the mine and i would get more ore but you can definitely go to the mine and just spend like an hour or two in the mine going to those floors and getting a lot of money every day during your first month it can feel really really slow and limiting because we're poor our town rank is really low and a lot of other things are just not unlocked yet but we can still make some good money i hope i was able to help you out in your first spring in coral island and if i did consider subscribing to the channel because it helps me out so much every time i see a new subscriber pop up it really truly motivates me to make another video thank you all so much and have a wonderful day until next time